Um, dear ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, today we continue our series of meetings with founders of IT sports industry, leaders on the market. Today we are welcome Gilles Brower, founder of Sci Sports and Bo James. Sci Sports is a leader company, um, yeah, leader, leader provider of football data intelligence. Uh, for professional and football clubs, football federation, um, entertainment companies, um, media companies, and uh, professional um, players as well. A few words about process just now. It's going to take 30 to 40 minutes normally, but maximum one hour in total. If something not clear or you have questions, please write them in the YouTube chat. You can also always get in touch with us afterward. Gilles, please take over. Thank you. It was uh, my pleasure to, uh, to be here with you guys. Um, it was a pleasure to uh, talk to uh, Dennis and Igor. Um, and they asked me to explain a little bit about uh, me, how you can enter the football industry and also how you can actually um, try to transform uh, your business into a data intelligence business. Um, but first of all, they asked me to start off by explaining a little bit about myself and how I ended up in the football industry. So basically, um, when I went to college, um, I went to the university in Twente. Um, and back then, FC Twente was one of the biggest clubs in the Netherlands. They just became a champion in that period. And once uh, the chairman of the football club gave a presentation at the university, and he explained how the transfer process worked, how, the, how they scouted players, how they recruited players, and how they analyzed um, all the different aspects of the players. And they did it really well, um, because they signed players like Tadic, uh, Quincy Promes, Hakim Ziyech, Arnautovic, uh, Chatley, uh, many good players at that period played at FC Twente. Um, but ever since I was a, a small guy, I'm still not really tall, but um, I really love to play the game of football manager um, and of course the game of FIFA, but mostly the game of football manager. And when you dive into the game of football manager, you can actually scout players from all over the world. You can go to uh, Chile, to Colo Colo. Um, you can go to Partizan Belgrado. Um, you can spot hidden talents in the youth academy of Sparta Prague. Um, and all these players are in the game. And then we thought, okay, all these players are put into the game by manual scouts, so by fans um, and lovers of um, the game of football manager, but what if we can actually um, bring the human generated football manager profiles into data generated player profiles. So what we did is we actually built a system um, in which we can automatically generate the quality and the potential of every professional football player in the world. Um, and that's actually what we started with in 2000. 13. Um, we started off with the idea in 2012 when Anatoly Babic, um, he's uh, my uh, friend and co-founder, uh, we went to the Euros in 2012 and we came up with the idea to actually use the data um, that we could find from other parties um, and build algorithms, so data analytics, data science, um, around the data to show actionable insights um, to all the football fans and all the football clubs around the world. And in the beginning, it's pretty hard to enter the football industry because we didn't know anyone. Uh, we were just students with a good idea and um, the technical and technical insights. Um, but we, what we wanted to do is actually bring that to our clients. And in the beginning, we build reports in which we help the professional football organizations to analyze which players um, have the right quality to play at the football club. And when we visited Heracles Almelo, which was one of our first clubs, 
uh, first clients, they told us that they were looking for a striker, um, but he had to be on a free transfer. So we started looking for them, and in our data, we found a player that was really interesting for them uh, because he was the second striker at the Dutch second division team. He was not even the first striker, um, but he played actually really well. And the most important aspect was that he actually scored the right goals at the right moment, which scored points for the team. And the name of the guy, the striker, was called Wout Weghorst. He was a young talent. Um, but his contract was not renewed, and we told Heracles, OK, take a look at this young guy. Um, he might be interesting for you. And in the end, they signed him as a third striker. Um, but within two months, he became the first striker. And because he was always on the right position. And after, I think, the first year, he was the club top goal scorer. And they sold him to AZ Alkmaar after one and a half season for one and a half million. At AZ, he played really well as well. He ended up in a Dutch national team and they sold him to VfL Wolfsburg for 17 million euros um, one and a half years later. And Wolfsburg is also one of our clients. Um, so what our initial goal was to bring football manager to the clubs. And um, right now at Sire Sports, um, we provide data intelligence to over 50 football organizations, 50 football clubs. Um, but also a dozen football agents who want to help the players to understand their game better. Um, they want to use the data to show where the players could improve, but also how to spot the hidden talents. And for me personally, one of the greatest things that you can do with data is that you can actually flag the hidden talents. Um, if you see a player playing in Israel uh, called Manor Solomon, and you see him playing and his data is just extraordinary, you want to see him uh, by using video and therefore you use uh, Scout or Instead. Um, and you can actually identify the qualities of the players by analyzing them by video. And in the end, you want to see him um, in real life. So you want to see him play, you want to talk to him, you want to talk to his agent, to his parents. Um, but it can really help you to focus better on the video scouting and the live scouting if you can narrow down the search of over 100,000 football players into a small group. And therefore, data scouting is of crucial importance because it can help you to focus on the right aspects so you can actually focus more on the most important tasks that data cannot do for you or video cannot do for you. Like talking to the players, talking to the agents and everyone um, around the industry. Um, where we actually started by building the size scale, which is the algorithm that quantifies the quality and the potential of all the players around the world. Um, we build it with basic match information. So just using it, which player is playing on which position, against whom, and uh, in which competition. And with that, we could actually expect or quantify the outcome, expected outcome of the match. So when Chelsea plays against Watford, we expect Chelsea to win with 3-1. to one. If the match ends in 3-2, to two, then the offense of Watford overperformed and they will get a plus. And we can do this for almost every competition in the world. Um, and therefore, you can uh, calculate the current quality of the player. But because we have a lot of historical information, like the first match of Buffon, the first match of Slaton, you can also expect uh, or calculate where the players would end up in their career. So you can calculate the potential of these players and see how fast they are growing. And thereby you can see which players you can identify already on a young age. Um, but only knowing how good they are isn't good enough anymore for the clubs because they want to know where they are good at. Do they fit the profile of the club? Do they match with the vision that the coach wants to play? Do they want to bring young players or do they actually want experienced players? Um, does he have to be on a free transfer? Does he come from inside the EU or doesn't, uh, does it may, uh, is it no difference where it comes from? And all those aspects is what we analyze in our size points platform. Uh, where we actually start off by building reports, we enable all our clients um, to actually use the data intelligence themselves to find the interesting players or also the bargain deals. So which players are on the free transfer coming summer? And you can actually help use the data 
to spot them early on. So if you are looking for a new right back and you think that Odria Zola is your uh, ideal player on the position, but you cannot afford him, you can just say, okay, I'm looking for a similar player like Odria Zola, um, but then under the two and a half million. And then the system automatically helps you to find interesting players for you. Um, our end goal is that we can actually unravel everything about every player. We want to understand the game to the fullest. And to enable us to do that, uh, we started another company a few years ago. And the name of that company is called Bull James. And Bull James is actually a tracking system that uses video footage to fully autonomously generate 3D data from every player and the ball. And with that information, you can actually detect in what direction a player is looking at. You can analyze how fast he shoots, does he dribble with the inside or the outside of his foot. And we saw basically from our data that we used that there was the missing gap in the football industry to analyze if a player is heading in the right direction, if he utilizes the movement of the players in the right way. Um, and the, the latest thing we are developing over there is that we can ingest every video feed as long as it's static. So as long like this webcam, I can analyze my movement and see if I play in the right way. But I can not only do it from this webcam, but I can do it from a full stadium and analyze where the players are moving and if the ball is moving in the right direction. And with that, we are sure that we can bring the entire data and data intelligence of the company and not only the company, of, but from the F entire football industry to the next level. And we don't want to only use this for football performance, but also for fan engagement. So if you want to enrich the game of football, you should use your fans. Um, but that's about the company Bull James. To go back to the company Size Sports again, um, I want to give you a brief um, introduction to our platform and see actually on a really short, uh, uh, short time how you can find, analyze and select a player. So I hope I can share my screen right now. I'll try it one more time. Right now you can see that I already selected the player. It, this is one of my favorites. It's uh, called, uh, he's called Kulusevski, he just made a transfer, um, but we already identified him at a really young age. I'll look him up again. Kulusevski, and you find the player. And you see that he rises really fast, but already when he was aged 16 and 17, we could see that he was a fast rising player. And then you want to know where is he good at? So we can see the quality of the player, the potential, but also his data, if he is good in shooting, what type of player he is. So Kulisevsky is a wide playmaker, but he can also play like an inside forward. And where he's really good at. So actually Kulisevsky, he's a wide playmaker and inside forward. His nationalities are Swedish and Macedonia, uh, but he's really good in passing. So if we only take a look at passing in the Serie A, we see that from all the wide midfielders and wingers, only Cengiz Under performed better this season. But then we say, okay, yeah, it's nice that you can find Kulisevsky, but which players have a similar style like Kulisevsky? And then it looks into the system and it searches for players. And we say, okay, we only want players with a value of maximum 2 million. And then we see that the player that at least I didn't know before, Thomas Maier, who's playing at the second division, second division in Austria, is not as good as him, but he has a similar playing style. So if I don't want to spend a lot of money, I can find Thomas Maier and actually take a look at this player. But it also helps me to find players from a certain region. So if I say I'm looking for a player in Sweden, I just select the Swedish competitions. So we have also the under 19 in Sweden. I say analyze and it finds the interesting players and I can easily select how good they are now or how good they can become in the future. 
And then I see that Al Hassan Yusuf is the biggest talent that is playing in Sweden right now. And of course, I can go more into detail. I see he's a deep line playmaker, but he can also play as a box to box. Um, and he has many different player roles. And we can see where he's exactly good at. So he's one, he's the best tackler in the competition. Um, and I can actually compare him with my teams. So if I'm um, AC Milan, I can just quickly um, add the shortlist. So if I say I want to add Boadu to the team because Slaton is leaving my team, I can see that he has one of the highest potentials for my team. So he could be a good signing for the club. And you can do a lot more in the platform, um, but I just want to give you a really brief view, overview. So if you want to dive in yourself, um, just uh, send, a, send a message um, to one of us and we can give you a trial to our account so you can actually play around and find the hidden gems uh, yourself. So that was a brief introduction about our platform. We also had some uh, discussion before on how the current situation will actually change the football industry. Now COVID-19 is actually stopping um, almost every competition in the world. Well, I think it will be difficult for some companies uh, because you cannot engage with the media anymore um, nobody actually will know what the future will bring us. Um, but as long as the football industry never stops, it will always turn out fine. And there are always interesting talents uh, to spot. And right now you cannot travel. You cannot go to interesting football matches anymore. So it could be a big advantage to actually ingest data scouting in your entire decision-making process. Because now you can analyze them by, and build your shortlists with data scouting. You can analyze them further with video scouting. And when the window opens, you can sign the players right on the right, at the right time, at the right moment, for the right price. And what the right prices will be, nobody knows. Um, if the prices will drop, probably. Um, but once the football starts kicking in again, um, it is always football, the ball is round, and you never know how the ball um, will roll. Um, I think if we take a look at the future of our industry, um, it is moving faster and faster. Data and data intelligence are becoming more influential. Uh, more and more clubs are relying on it. Um, if you take a look at the Liverpool season, for instance, how they um, are performing with the use of data by scouting the players in the right way, uh, by scouting the players that perform well under pressure, you can actually see that they are one of the best in what they are doing. Um, we are building new models ourselves um, every time in history. And so, for instance, if you take a look at our contribution ratings, um, in the past, um, we had expected goals, and expected goals measured how good a striker or player could shoot. But right now, with the contribution ratings, um, you can actually measure the influence of every action on a pitch. So you can measure how a player passes, you can measure uh, how he dribbles and the influence of every action and the contribution of every action on a goal being scored within 15 seconds. And I think that's revolutionary. It changes the game because right now you can actually um, see a lot more on what's happening on the pitch. Um, all the kids are uh, using the FIFA Ultimate Team cards and I think um, in the next year also the FIFA Ultimate Team cards will be actually based on real data. So the data that you can see on the television will not only be ball possession or uh, stuff like that, but you will actually see the real data of the players in real time, providing you with actionable insights and actually game intelligence that will lead you and the game to the next level. Um, I think that's the most important part, that you actually keep improving the game. You keep looking for innovate, in innovative ways to help the game improve. Um, and we see it also with our clients and with our fans. Um, they make this happen. Um, I want to emphasize uh, a few stories that we had in the past. Um, so um, at the World Cup of 2018, 
Uh, we had a chat with the Belgium national team and the technical staff, and they asked us to help them analyze all their opponents and actually use data intelligence to spot the weaknesses of all their opponents during the World Cup. And it really helped them during the tournament. Um, they reached the third place. We did the same with Ajax last season. Um, unfortunately, um, they were two minutes short of reaching the, uh, the finals last year. But who knows what will happen next year when the season opens again. Um, and one last story of the things we do is that we also help the players and the agents um, to spot which moments uh, and which data is of use for them. So we help them to integrate data in the decision-making process of finding the right club for them that helps them to get most out of their career. And one of the players that we help, for instance, is Memphis Depay. When he moved from Manchester United to Olympique Lyon, we helped him in the decision-making process by finding clubs that were suitable for his playing style. Um, and he actually asked us if we could help him with that. And he made a transfer to Lyon, and right now uh, he turned into one of the most influential players of the Dutch national team again. Um, and that's actually what I wanted to uh, discuss with you for now. Um, so uh, let's uh, check uh, if uh, Dennis or Igor or any of you has any questions. Thank you. Oh. Thank you very much, dear colleagues. Um, thank you, Gil, for, Gils, for your fantastic story. Um, maybe any questions to Gil? Because, uh, Gil, only for your information, we got a few. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, it was really a, a good presentation to learn you and learn your system. Um, if any, no questions up to now, I have a question because um, it's not only from me, from our colleagues. Um, first of all, maybe you remember and, of course, ready to tell us any special story about, uh, yeah, I don't know, uh, first success um, in your business life, maybe first uh, first client or, I don't know, any special cases, uh, what or why you decide uh, to, uh, to be there. For ten years, or and so far, what is what is what is the key story behind this? Behind it? Yeah, the ultimate goal was really um, to rebuild the game of football manager. So yeah. being able, every we wanted to enable all the clubs in the world to find the hidden talents, because it's a huge waste that so many talents don't find the right club or don't choose the right career path. Mm -hmm. And we actually believe that data intelligence can help the players to get spotted earlier on. So it doesn't matter anymore in the future if you're a talent in Macedonia or if you're a talent in Paraguay, still all the clubs can identify your qualities by using the data. And in that way, no more talent will be wasted anymore. Um, and that's our ultimate goal. So the talents um, who are playing in lower league divisions, who, who are um, not spotted yet, um, can actually find a way to the top in the best possible way. Um, mm -hmm. And then always you spot the interesting talents, um, like uh, Adam Hlozek. I follow mm -hmm. him for quite some years already. Um, there's a young uh, defender playing uh, at AC Troy, uh, which is uh, Kiki Kuyate. His data is incredible, so probably he will make a, a great transfer uh, during the next summer. Good. Thank you. Um, our question, um, I, I'm uh, so maybe really special for all of us working in IT, uh, in IT sports uh, technology industry. Um, your company works, uh, works worldwide. Um, do you see any difficulties or differences between different markets? For example, okay, Europe market, West European markets, US market, Asia market, what is especially on your product in general and of course especially on your product? Who is who is open to speak about it, to think about it, to believe in you or more conservative, maybe Germans, you know, I don't know. What is what is your experience? Well, actually, the Germans are great. Um, okay. We have a huge market share in uh, 
in Germany and in Belgium, France and the Netherlands. Um, and right now we are focusing on growing our market more in the Mediterranean area. Okay. And that's a huge uh, focus area for us now. And um, as we see a lot of potential there, as you can see, for instance, the clubs like Atalanta Bergamo, um, they prove that with a right uh, data-driven uh, approach, you can scout the right talents at the right moment. Uh, we saw with uh, with Genk, for instance, that they uh, became champion by scouting the players at the right moment in the right time. Um, where there's a huge difference is that the Germans actually love using data. Um, they see the value of it. They want to be really concrete in how it works. They want to know all the insights, the background of the algorithms. Uh, while some other countries, they say, okay, we don't care um, the exact algorithms behind it, but we want to validate with our own eyes if your outcomes are correct. And then they say, okay, your outcomes are correct, so now we believe you. Um, and that's uh, the huge difference in, uh, in these markets. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, um, I think it's a really interesting question for all of us. Um, what is your opinion about how coronavirus will change the sport, special football, and um, in general? And what's about us, yeah, our uh, sport IT technology? Yeah, I touched upon it already uh, a bit, uh, but of course, um, I don't have a, a huge crystal ball in which we can uh, see the future. Uh, but I think uh, as long as we can keep um, the stadiums full and the me media rights in, um, that will be uh, an important is uh, issue. Um, and what I'm, uh, the World Cup will be holding. The initial goal was January 2022, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Um, the problem that we will probably face back then is that the sum, the Euros will be in the summer of 2021. Yes. So half a year later, we would have the World Cup. Um, so how will we face with the World Cup qualifiers then? Um, if you only have half a year um, in the meantime. So probably uh, that will be uh, a really tight situation. Um, I don't know how data analytics can solve that, uh, but at least we will uh, have to make sure that data can help the clubs um, to actually make sure that the players are fit um, and prevent injuries for the players if the um, entire um, competition is not continued like this. Okay. Good, good. What's about, um, yeah, what do you think about the short term's future? Um, we already start to speak about this. Yeah, we have a, big, a little bit difference between Germany, for example, uh, German Football Federation or Bundesliga, and Netherlands and Belgic Liga. Yeah, what's, um, what's about, yeah, short term's future? What yeah, right now we are really focusing on the global uh, scale of the company. Yeah, uh, Belarus. No, Belarus. Yeah, they play. Uh, yeah, we have to concentrate on Belarus. Yeah, Be Belarus, Nicaragua. Uh, Nicaragua, very important. Exactly. Burundi as well. Um, well. And what's about talents? You see already some. Uh, some uh, you found a few top guys. You analyze. Uh, I'm gonna check uh, the the biggest talents in Belarus for you. Yeah, yeah, please, please, not for me, not for me. I'm uh, maybe for, for ag agents and uh, for clubs, of course, for your clients. Yeah. Um, so uh, the biggest uh, talent playing there at this moment is uh, the 20 year old Ilya Rutschki. From, um, this, uh, from this club? He's playing at uh, Sputnik Rechitka. Okay. Rechitsha. Okay. Um, he's a. Uh, uh, a back. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. How you? Yeah. Uh, how you can? Uh, yeah. How you can? Yeah. Compare, for example, I don't know, to uh, yeah, highest league in uh, Belarus as uh, yeah, which level is it? I don't know. In Germany, for example, level three, le regional league. league yeah, four? I think level three, something like that. Level three. Okay. So. Um, 
But uh, Nastic is still playing at Bate Borisov, and he, of course he's a good player. Yeah, uh, Bate Borisov is yeah, it's, it's, uh, very famous in the international level. Yeah, yeah all the, the best players in the competition play at Bate Borisov. Okay, so what's about Nicaragua? Oof. You have data from Nicaragua too? Yeah. I... Okay. So, only for my understanding. So, for example, me, I, for example, like sport director, I don't know, from, from League Free in Germany, yeah? Yeah. So, and I'm looking for uh, very talented guys and, yeah, for nothing, for cheap, yeah? <laughs> very cheap, for nothing. So, I call you and say, yeah, give me, give me the name from, I don't know, Belarus, for example, yeah? And is it possible? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so usually they come to us and they say, okay, I'm looking for your, um, a player that is on the free transfer. And we say, yeah. uh, but uh, he has to be a right back under uh, 28, over 1 meter 90, uh, European uh, nationality, um, and he has to be left footed um, yeah. and really good in heading, and then we'll find a player. But the best, pl best talent from uh, Nicaragua is Brandon Ayerdis. Okay, and what is your opinion? Yeah, which club should uh, yeah should uh, should take care about his player? Which level? I don't know. Because look, for example, for me, uh, you know, just each club has now uh, access to Vice Scout. Yeah, formerly Vice Scout, Huddle now, or Instat, or <laughs> to both. Yeah. And you know, can look worldwide very quick on each position, on each level, and see. What is biggest advantage in com from your company to to Wise Scout and to Instat? Um, yes, we actually buy the data from Wise Scout and they are our partner. Yeah. Um, but basically, what you can do with Wise Scout and Instat is that you can, when you know the player, you can really dive into him on a deep level. Mm -hmm. um, and where we help you with is by finding all the best players that you are looking for, and we mm -hmm. make it really easy. So if you say, okay, I'm looking for a similar player like Aguero, it's yeah. just one click and you find similar players to Aguero. Um, and then you can select on the market price and all those different aspects that you want to focus on. Okay, uh, and market prices, you take it you take it from transfer market or you do it by yourself? Uh, we have our own model for that, mm -hmm. uh, but we also can see the transfer market values, of course. Okay. Yeah, but sometimes the values are not what. What do you, what do you think about values of uh, market value by transfer market? And yeah, well, of course they are also humanly um, added there. So mm -hmm. also human fans, they can select the market value and they can put it into the transfer market system. Yeah. Um, so as long as um, you know all the insights, well, nobody can predict uh, the current market value of Messi. Only Barcelona is able to do that. Um, because is he 50 million? Is he 250 million? Is he 1 billion? Um, as long as they're not going to sell him, um, there's no price uh, for him. Um, well, what you can see with some young players, you can make a really good estimation. Um, yeah. But as, as if every player, uh, every club wanted Haaland uh, now, or Jadon Sancho, um, they will not pay uh, the equal price, but they pay an extra because they all want him. Um, so you can get a good indication. Um, and of course, transfer market is sometimes uh, far off. Um, but I think uh, that's also yeah, money talks in football. If you have a better agent, um, you are worth more. Okay. Thank you. So we have two questions. Uh, first one, uh, what's about our sports? American football, ice hockey, basketball, maybe MMA. Yeah, well, what with uh, with the Ball James company, yeah, uh, we are already uh, trying out some other sports, and of course uh, we are called Sai Sports, so we're not only yeah. going to focus on football. Uh, so who knows what in the future? But right now, the football industry is bigger than all the other markets together. Um, so for Forget if you're thinking about India market, maybe cricket. Yeah, yeah, it's still uh, the amount of watches are the same. Yeah. Um, but regarding the price money, um, 
and the media rights, there's nothing like the World Cup, for instance, okay. and, the, and the Champions League. Um, so there are too many uh, competitions. Um, so if you take a look at the Super Bowl and compare that with the Champions League, um, it's like nothing comparable. Um, but in the end, we're going to focus on the other sports as well. Um, but we first want to unravel the game of football to the fullest, and then we'll go to all the markets. Okay, thank you. So we have uh, one question. So I try to read it from my iPhone because, uh, okay, how has your team's experience been with convenience clubs with data insights? You understand, yeah? yeah? It's yeah. Very good question. Good question. Yeah, because the world is, of course, really conservative. Yeah. Um, it's uh, an old boys network. Um, and I think in the past, um, everybody thought of there would be two camps. So at the one yeah. side, you will have the old football guys. And at the other side, you would have um, all the uh, lost uh, data nerds. Um, but as we could see now, there doesn't have to be a big gap between them. Because if you try to speak the same language and you actually know that the data nerds, they have to learn from the football legends uh, because they have the know-how and they know what they want to achieve with the data. Mm -hmm. And what you see now in the past three years is that uh, the two of them are working really synergetic and building the products together. Um, we had some guys in size sports that play at the highest level uh, we talk a lot with our clients and ask them, what are you looking for? As long as you keep asking them, um, there's not a huge difference in what you are trying to achieve. You try to build the tools that will help you to get most out of the game. And I think that's uh, the, the most crucial aspect, that you try to do it together and that you are actually building the future of sports uh, with the data scientists and not looking at them at nerds not uh, looking at the old football guys as uh, the old football guys but just as guys who are trying to build a future of sports together and the successes of course of Michelin and Liverpool um, Ajax Genk uh, Heracles they really help to see for every club that every club can use data intelligence in a smart way perfect perfect so i have once a few questions uh, yes, it's already us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already answered. Or uh, only five? Uh, only one question. What's about our market in five years? What are you thinking about it? It's from your, it's, it's from one colleague from your partners from Huddle. I know, ah. I know, I know. He guy. He works for Huddle. <laughs> I uh, I know uh, the industry is uh, changing really fast, and I think it will only grow. Um, last year we had a revenue growth of uh, 60%. Yeah. Um, and I think many other data driven companies also experience growth in this period. Yeah. Um, so I think the world is, uh, is growing, is growing fast. And data intelligence will support decision makers only more and more in the future. Um, so uh, with uh, our partners, uh, I think we can grow together. Uh, so uh, thanks for the question of the uh, the huddle partner. Uh, so uh, let's uh, let's build out the future with all the people that try to enrich the football industry. Yeah, maybe we have in five years only two names. I don't know, size sports, and I don't know, and huddle. Yeah, <laughs> all the other two questions, you know, like and I don't know, Microsoft and Apple, and uh, that's all. M maybe so, masterclass uh, performance. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. Why not? Why not? We have to speak. I think it's. I think it's a future. Uh, not only in our industry to to cooperate with each other to make our products uh, products uh, uh, user friendly. Um, because um, yeah, you know, a lot. In my opinion, we produce a lot of data, and sometimes our clients, um, yeah, to have too much is too. Yeah. Some, is too much for it. Yeah. Yeah, but I think you uh, uh, you found a perfect solution. Um, really, really interesting. It was for me. I hope for uh, for all of us. Um, from my side, we have no question. We have no questions uh, currently. If uh, if we will get it, we will send it to you. 
Uh, thank you very much. Uh, fantastic story, fantastic presentation, fantastic product. Uh, I wish a lot of success to you. So uh, just for all uh, guys, please note uh, our workshop with, um, this uh, Thursday, 22nd of April, about player scouting. Yeah, maybe it's interesting for you too. It's from uh, Daniel Nista. Uh, it's uh, from Practical Sites. We learned today from uh, theoretical sites. Maybe uh, it will be interesting to see it from practical sites. Yeah, uh, stay healthy and see you soon. Thank bye you. Bye-bye.